welcome to you all. Uh, we are Gonzalo and Florencia. We are from Ad Hoc. Um, we are going to be showing a, a type of PPI. Mainly, we, we want to like to give an idea of a new concept that we are using nowadays. Uh, it could be power meter without a dog. <laughs> it's called a dog because we are using it. So uh, let's start with the with the why. Um, our mission in Adhoc, and I think it's, it's a shared one between many companies in OCA and the Odoo environment, we want to empower our customers, we want to make them work better, faster, smarter. And there are some stats um, that uh, it's, it's very common for users not to take profit of all the functionalities that the ERPs are bringing. So many times they start with an MVP, they start with some apps, and they stop there, and they start growing, and that's Okay, but that's not what we drive uh, with, with, uh, with our uh, final mission, right? So, um, you have a, the, the usual KPIs that you can use in order to see how the customers are going. Are usually NPS, you're asking customers if they are happy or they are not happy. They could be happy, but they could be happy with just an invoicing app that is working really good and they're just using invoicing. Um, uh, the other indicator that is usually measured is net recurring revenue or monthly recurring revenue. You are you're checking if the customer is growing or not. It may be growing, but because he uses a, a CRM and he's getting more salespeople and he's growing a lot, but he's not getting more empowerment in the whole organization. There's also churn. You could see how many customers are leaving you or not. But that could be zero because the customer is it's difficult for him to go to another ERP or whatever. So they do not give direct information about how, uh, how much are we empowering them, right? Um, so what we want to do, we want to insert technology in their processes in order for them to have more automatic procedures, to be more robust or whatever. That would mean if they, what we try to, our hypothesis is if they have more processes inside of do, we are empowering them more. So that's where uh, we wanted to find a KPI that measured this. Um, but how can we measure that? You could measure it by saying, okay, they have this app installed, but it's not enough because maybe they install it, they use it for a time, and then they didn't use it anymore, or they have it installed, but they don't use it. Uh, so we started to think about questions that we could ask to the customer database in order to see if they are actually being empowered in some processes. Um, for example, do you have a website, an active website in Odoo? That would be yes or no. Uh, have you generated any quotation in the last week? Yes or no. It's not a quotation, because maybe he entered a quotation like two years ago and then he stopped, no? Uh, are you doing inventory adjustments? Of course, these questions, if they are no, they have a, a pain behind, they have a problem behind. They, maybe they are not doing inventory adjustments, so they may have problems in their inventory, so they are going to have shortage in the stock or whatever. Um, have manual account moves been created in the last month? That would mean if they are actually using accounting or they are just invoicing, right? So this, we define them as different KPIs that we are going to track in the database of our uh, customers. Okay, so we, uh, which are the main uses that we have for this KPA. As Gonzalo was saying, we, need, we want to make sure that we are adding value to uh, our customers. We have a great product, but they need to use the product in order to get all these advantages. So, this is some of the main uses. One, for example, is internal marketing of apps. So, how uh, our clients are going to use the new app of Dashboard, for example, if our consultants don't know about the application and how to use it, and how to suggest the clients to use it, right? So we work internally to uh, promote some applications and how those applications can uh, done some jobs that uh, our clients have to do. Also, we improve communication. Sometimes uh, our clients do not use some applications because they don't know that the application exists, that the functionality exists. And there is a process, a pro there is some process that they are doing within their company, but they don't know how to do it with Odoo. Also, uh, well, we have some dedicated consultants that uh, is people in our company that work really close with some clients to see all their processes and advise them how to improve their processes. So we give suggestions to them to see Look at this client, probably he's having this pain, so probably you should 
uh, advise him to do this or that, right? Uh, also evaluate the potential of a new feature. Sometimes we decide to develop a new feature and it's important to know how much impact that feature will have uh, in our clients because a new feature uh, requires time, requires money, so it's important to know if this feature is going to impact a lot of clients or if not, we, we uh, put the feature there and nobody is using it. So that's important for us. And also uh, a lot of importance regarding upgrades to evaluate, for example, we have the new version, for example, version 16, in which the subscription changed because the model got merged with sale order. So with this KPI, we were able to see how many clients probably could have some impact with this change uh, of the new version. And also, uh, at the moment, to prioritize which models we will work to upgrade to a new version in the OCA or also some modules that we created, we use uh, this KPI to see, okay, first I'm going to migrate all these modules and I'm going to leave all these ones to the end because only a few clients are using it, right? So, um, how we check all this information, I mean, we get all the information from the KPA, well, to an APA that uh, goes to our database clients uh, and checks um, if they um, fulfill the query or not. As Gonzalo say, the queries are yes or no. Yes, uh, they did 10 sales orders last month, yes or no. We are not collecting any other kind of data. Uh, so it's a simple APA. And this is a screen just for you to know how we as functionals also can set the queries. So the developers made everything, so as functional we can use it really easy. We asked the question. Yes. Eh? They, they, we asked the question. They, exactly. They <laughs> so when we set a new APA, what we said is, okay, this is the query, so which is the model that we are asking information, and we put uh, some restrictions. Um, then also we have a domain, of course, to evaluate. So in this model, for example, sale order, I want to check only the sales orders that are in status fan. That it means they were confirmed, right? Um, and also here in this part in description, sorry, it's in Spanish, but we try to focus as functionals on what are we trying to analyze with this uh, special KPI? Which pain uh, can have the client that we try to analyze through this KPA? Or what job they need to be done? And we are analyzing with this uh, KPI. And just, just one thing more. Uh, this is the screen that we use because we connect with our infrastructure because we have a, a kind of infrastructure where uh, we are going to share the actual queries that we have because it, could, it can be done with the API. It doesn't matter what infrastructure you're in. It's just you, you get the information. So it doesn't matter. The interface is like, it's, it's secondary. It's not the most important part of it. Exactly. And Okay, what we do with all this information, currently we are taking advantage with, uh, of the dashboard, of Odoo, the native dashboard. And on this dashboard, we put all together, uh, as Gonzalo said, not only APM, but also NPS and, and RR. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and now I'm going to show you a little bit uh, which conclusions we can uh, have or take from uh, this tool. So, um, well, this is an spreadsheet with all the KPIs that we currently have. We have 49 uh, KPIs. That doesn't mean that these are going the only one we have because uh, when we uh, use new applications or do release new functionalities or the OCA also, uh, release new functionalities, we start to track more things um, and well as you can see we have like the name of the KPA, the query and also uh, the domain that we have. And you can find also the pain that we detect is like if you are not using it to track leads maybe you are losing sales that it could be done because you are not 
taken per se. Even though we, we use this to take uh, individual uh, conclusions that Terence is going to talk about now, we also track it as a, as a global KPI. So you are at 30%, you are at 50%, you are at 70%, and how is the actual state in the whole? We have 300 customers, kind of. So what percentage are we getting in our customers? So are, are we improving or are we going behind? So that's a, a good track for, for our product department and for our operations department. Exactly. So, and also, as you can see here, we try to group all of the KPAs to products or applications, their kind of relationship. So, in order to say, okay, how much they are using accounting itself, how much they are using uh, purchasing uh, itself. So, uh, going to one of the dashboards, for example, uh, nowadays our average is 32 points. So it means there is a lot of work to do. <laughs> so to it's our clients, 100, sorry. yes, yes, they from zero to 100. So we have a lot of work to do, and we have some clients uh, on this list. The the first the first column is the name of the database of our clients. So for example, there are some clients that are really in a really good shape. They have like more than 70 points, but there are many clients that need Probably they are having uh, things that are not solved and they are dealing with problems that could be solved through all. So, for example, talking about the uses that we said before, in here from our customer success uh, team, they can uh, select one client and evaluate how the client is performing or it's using, not performing, sorry, it's using uh, all in the different <laughs> application, purchasing, sales, a website, e-commerce, etc. So when they have a call with a client, or an, and also the dedicated consultant, when they have a, a call with a client, they have more information and they know which area to talk about to offer, a collaborate to improve their processes. And also from a product perspective, for example, I can see, I can say, okay, I am 32%, so let's take a we're going to see purchasing, that is a complex in Spanish, sorry. So I can see here that we are in an average of 54. Currently for purchasing, we are checking two KPAs. One is how many uh, purchase orders were confirmed, and also we are using the OTA module about uh, purchase requests. So we are checking how many purchase requests they did. And as we can see, a lot of people has a 100%, so they are using both uh, tools, but then we have a lot of 50%. I spoiled it earlier, the thing is that they are not using push request tool. <laughs> so probably there is a, a thing there that we need to talk to them. Probably they don't need it because they are a really small company right. and it's a process that they do not uh, currently need, but they could. Yeah, and many times it's like they don't do it because they don't want it, Sometimes they don't need it, but sometimes they do not know that their process is not as good as it could be. So they are having problems of another kind, and when you present to them purchase requests, they understand that they, they don't have a, a process that could be an Excel or a paper, or whatever, but they are not having the process that could end in the problem for, for them. Maybe they are not getting a, an approval for purchase or whatever that they would need and they could avoid the problem that they could have. Exactly. So in this case, when I see this information, what I would do is to evaluate and get more information to see what is happening. Probably is that, that all these companies do not need a tool, but probably the tool needs an improvement that would impact a lot of clients. So I will decide to develop and put time on that a new feature. Uh, if I go to another example, like a uh, time of application, for example, mm -hmm. you see this, and it's 85, so you say, okay, all of our clients are using time off. Well, no. What is happening in here is that, as you can see, there's, there's the ones that are using, are using all uh, things that we set as KPA. But if we scroll down, we see that we have a lot of clients with nothing. That means they do not have the application installed in their database. So here, I'm not going to start developing a, a whole package of new features. What I need to do now is to uh, perform webinars, give information, send newsletters to let us clients know that they have all these 
tools that are really powerful to manage their people, because all the companies work with people. Uh, so I'm not going to develop a, a lot of things. First, I'm going to push the, what we already have in the product, and then we will evaluate <coughs> if some improvements can be done and needs or needs to be done, right? And one, one important thing about this, don't, don't think about the, the actual dashboard and the filters and whatever, because this, this could be an Excel download and an auto filter. It's, it's the concept behind this that is yeah. important, because maybe you don't have 300, maybe you have 1,000 or two cl clients, it's the same. It's the same analysis, but in a different uh, scale. Exactly. So um, the main idea is to <coughs> perform actions in any area of a dog, not only product or not only customer success, and make decisions according to, to the information. Um, and one, one more thing I can add. Uh, we try to analyze, uh, when we try to approach our customers, we try to analyze if there are customers that, that need a high touch, a low touch, or a tech touch, right? It's, it's, um, why is that? Because there are some customers that are going to be able to pay for mm -hmm. their uh, consultants. They are going to pay for, I don't know, 20 hours a month in order for them to have them. They are like our high touch customers. Uh, usually they are eight uh, customers that, that they can pay. Uh, so there you, you have high touch, you have a person looking at the indicators and helping them. But many customers won't be able to afford maybe a dedicated uh, consultant, maybe because they don't have the money or maybe because they don't have a, a single point of contact to do it or they cannot dedicate the time. So with the analysis we will say, okay, there's a lot of people that they are not using uh, libs, right? And that could be great. So as Florence said, we are going to perform a webinar, we're going to send newsletters for them, we are going to put communication in order to help them to empower themselves without spending uh, money. Yeah, because our final goal, as we always say, is to empower them. Uh, we need the money to pay the people and pay the things to empower them. So we are always tracking to find ways, even though they may not have the resources in order to for that to be able to empower them. Exactly. Right. So, well, <laughs> it was shorter than we expected. Yes. <laughs> okay. Or we speak very fast. <laughs> <laughs> so, that will be all, but if any yeah. of you have any questions, please questions. let us know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry? How do we say it up? How do we say it up? For me, it's, it's, it's not that, that difficult to do it. At, at least in my opinion. Um, <laughs> if, you have, if, you have, if you have access to the API, and yeah. all, all the, the, the partners that, that implement usually have access to the API, uh, if you inject the query, you will get an answer. So, for example, you, are wanting, you want to analyze a, 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 a customer, so you will say, okay, I, I'm going to, to analyze purchases, sales, and, I know, and, and API. Yeah. So you inject exactly. these sentences one by one and say true, true, false, 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 and you get a picture on where are the they sending. So if you call them, you could say to them, I see that you have a distribution company, you sell goods and whatever, but you are not using purchases. Why not? No, I just uh, put the invoice and then I make an inventory adjustment to put the stock. It happens. I heard it a lot of times. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No, no. Yes. So uh, you say, but you don't have control of the purchases. Maybe the goods are not coming. And you explain to them why the concept of the process is important. So that's what, what we mean. It's like it's not you, you need a big technological tool to, know, to, to get it. You could call them and uh, tell them, are you making quotations? Are you it, this is like to make it automatic. But the, 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 the behind of the scene is like, we want them to be better conceptually, and we use a tool to make it easier. Right? Yeah. So you were talking about the possibility to see the modules that your customers are using or not. Yeah. So you have the database of all the modules that your customers are using. <laughs> like uh, the list of all the modules that yeah. uh, a common database. Yeah. Is through this uh, through the API or, or otherwise? Mm. It's, it's the same because we, we kind of not care about if they have the model installed or not. Because if they have it installed and they do not use it, for us it's the same as if they don't have it installed. It's like they are not using the process. Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, so. Ah, ah okay. Okay. Right, but many times yeah. they are modules that do not get uh, records, so you cannot like yeah. kind of track them with that. So, so in that case, you need that 
but in many cases, maybe they have the mobile stone and you say, yeah. we need to migrate it, but nobody is using it. So, yeah. so that's For the us, problem. it's not important what they have installed or not. I mean, probably this is the next step that we, we need to work, but we are saying, okay, this is a company that is a service company. So that is our beginning point, our point to start, right? So if it's a service a company, probably they should have projects. So if they are not using them, it, it doesn't matter if they have inside it or not. They should use it. But probably they will not use inventory. And that is okay. So for us, it's more important when we have a new client, we mark them as service company, wholesale company, or whatever, and we believe that as we were yesterday, we were talking yesterday when in the workshop of modules, that a wholesale company should have at least all these functionalities. And a service company should, so it doesn't matter per module itself, itself but for the kind of company they are. So the the there's no OCA project, that's the thing. We, we don't have it as a project. It's, uh, we are sharing the, the actual information that any functional can take it and talk with the technical guy to help, to, to help them to, in order to make the queries. Like, because it's, ba our, it's based on how are you dealing with your infrastructure. Maybe you're working with uh, bare metal servers, maybe you're working with Google Cloud, maybe you're working in a server of the customer through a VPN, uh, maybe you're using OWSH, whatever. Uh, the, the, you need to decide how you are going to, to, to work it out. If you check up at, at the model that we have of API, it's very simple. It's just uh, a record that has all the information. And then you can group it as you could group a type of table or whatever. So that's why we don't have it as a project in OCA. Basically, it's just a uh, specific code done by ODB or ODB delivering the first then the model is personalization. We gave them by, by personalization on our database, and we are very pleased with changing it. So that's why there is no model. There is just a PC call that to our customer uh, with those domains. And then the model when we put the data is just a model with two or three years. And, and it's important to say. Really yeah, it's important to say that we. we we, we, we invented this indicator like one year ago, so we are just like uh, getting to... Yeah, yeah we, we, used to, <laughs> we used to enter the, the training database to check if they had installed, and then we, when the, that proof of concept worked, we, we started talking with the technical guys to say, okay, okay it's important. Okay. Please, please, please. <laughs> so you still found the 49 KPIs for the good query and the basic domain, and then the thing I needed to know is just the fact that everything starts with at the earliest, and I yes. guess this is a function of the fact that you guys are on the ball with your migrations, yes. um, but as soon as you've got yes. like a spread of eight versions that you're right. supporting still, unfortunately, I gather then you need to run sub KPIs for the exactly. main KPIs, right? right? We, we found that on our week, I will do it, as a react, yeah, so we are completely right. right. But you could, yeah, sometimes maybe the model changed its name or whatever, so yeah. uh, you could have like, a, in this like a simple way, you could have like a, a row in which you have the version and the, okay, if it's 13, these are the KPIs that I have defined. Exactly. As the example that we talked before about subscription for clients in version 16, right. we are taking one model and for clients that are in prior version, we are taking the exactly. another model. So we kind of combine manually. Both now. Technically, we didn't work on that yet, but there is a KPI model on OCH that was, uh, it's, nobody is completely, mm -hmm. maybe it's in different things, different version. It allows you to define queries and KPI, KPI values. Yeah. But then our idea was maybe uh, some way to standardize that so that everyone can use it. It was to extend that model and allow queries to out, uh, to other databases. And then, yeah, there we query, we query, so, yeah, we could be the product if there is interest so that it can be an open CA. And not only to deal with this, uh, of this KPI, KPI, but also other KPIs. Yeah, yeah. and there's another alternative that you could, we could use this module for the, the, the database to self-assess themselves mm -hmm. and to get the, the, the KPIs 
start forming the, the, the queries inside the database. Yeah, right? yeah, I mean, if I say we use that, right. it's like the same personalization we use for us, we are making to, to make that the extra power of the database. Ah, I didn't know that. For those, yeah, it's that information that is difficult to get, so every month you run the query and get the result. But then you could have this installed as a customer as a module as well, and then you just phone to them each month. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do think. Yeah. How much time did you spend on this internally? Internally? Of the whole project. I think the, the, the thing that took more time was like to get into the idea that we needed this conceptually. Mm -hmm. So I think it was nine months of we're thinking about this and talking about bah, yeah. but it's not useful, we should do NPA. To be against the project. Some people yeah. were, well. The Excel took a lot of time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the Excel uh, version. But we started like with, 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 I don't know, 12 KPIs. It was like to trying to understand what it, and when we saw the results, it were like, wow. We, 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 yeah. It was like, we are not empowering our customers as yeah. we thought we were. We go, oh, we have a lot of customers, but are we really making an impact on them? And that's the final goal, we, we want to make an impact. So it was more thought because if maybe the, the query, the guys, the developers are, <laughs> are crazy intelligent. They say, okay, it's good, and they write it. The, the mo maybe you need to think, how can I understand if they are actually using their inventory in a good way? Okay, they are making inventory adjustments, they are making internal moves, whatever. So maybe that thinking process takes more time, but not the actual technical part, okay. at least like in this part, the, the module is. Yeah. And now we are, this is an next step, but we are trying to analyze, uh, in, a, in a functional side, we are trying to analyze from a um, process perspective. Yeah. So not only the two KPAs of, of purchasing, right? It's not only if they confirm the purchase order. They did the receive in the inventory app. Did they uh, receive the invoice from the, the supplier? and all the steps related, which is what is really happening in the client besides the transaction, the specific transaction in, in other right? Yeah, and another thing that is important to say is that we believe that our customer, that, that the action is tried by two things, survival or belonging. So if you call the customer and you tell them that because they are not doing this, they are going to have a problem, you are hitting mm -hmm. their survival core in the brain and they say, oh, I need to do it because I will go bankrupt or whatever. And when you say that we tell them all the guys in your industry are doing this and you are not doing it, you go to belong. They want to be in groups to not die in a savannah, right? So <laughs> they want to belong. So that's the two drivers that make them go and invest the time because this means time, changing their processes, learning by an hour. So that's sales speech, but it, it fits here also. I saw a column uh, called ad hoc product as well. Is that important in any way or is that just your internal metric? No, the thing is that we have a product team and we are seven people right now and we distribute the products according to this. For example, I am the PO of purchasing, inventory and manufacturing and others. So the maintenance of which KPA we w want to track is done by the uh, all the POs, of course. By it's internal. Yeah. yeah. It's very related with the app, so mm -hmm. you will see that. Kind of the same. Yeah. Okay, that will be all. Thank you. <laughs>